Hello and welcome to this video in the Google Shopping Training Series. In today's video, we'll be creating our remarketing ads for our Google Ads Manager. Remarketing is the cornerstone of any good marketing strategy. Most of your customers need to interact three or more times before they're comfortable making the purchase on your website. Today, we will be creating dynamic remarketing ads for display network placements, allowing us to show our customers products they were looking at on our website. Before we get started with the training, I wanted to remind everyone to subscribe to the channel. I put out a video every single day to build your knowledge in advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping. I do this absolutely free of charge. I also host a live call every Thursday night for the Facebook group where I give away a one hour consulting call. By subscribing, you're helping this channel reach more people and build out the revenue required to keep producing these videos for you. Thank you so much for clicking through. I hope you enjoy the video. As we get started, you will need to install another program for this step. Please see the link in the description to download the Google Web Designer program. This will be used to help create and visualize the advertisements that we are going to make for our campaign. Just a heads up, this is meant to be a beginner's tutorial. This is an incredibly advanced concept that we are going to go over at a very cursory level. I will create further videos that dive deeper into this concept in the advanced training, but know that for now, we just need to know a simple enough version of everything. Once the Google Web Designer is installed, start at the program. We want to create a new ad from a template. Select the dynamic remarketing for Google Ads. On the left side, you'll see plenty of different options to pick from. For now, we're going to focus on an option that it only shows one product. This is the simplest form for everything. Let's select the dynamic remarketing with individual thumbnails and a single CTA. Click Use Layout. Set Size to Responsive. Give it a nice name. How about Dynamic Remarketing Add 1? Click Create. Okay, this is super ugly. I know. Don't focus on it too much. This does have a lot going on. For now, just click on Preview. I promise it will look so much better once we get data in here. You just made 33 placements in seconds. Ta-da! I know what you're thinking right now. That looks nothing like my ad should. This is only using sample data. When you upload this to your Google Shopping campaign and use your product feed, it will have your product information. Let's break down how it works. In the bottom left corner of the screen, you'll see a little section with a tab that says Dynamic. Click on that and select Bindings. Since we used a template, all of this information is set up. Right click on one of these items and click Edit. When this pops up, you should see three columns. Element, Element Attribute, and Data Schema Object. The element is on-screen element that we're working with, so the little box. For the first item we have price txt. The element attribute is what you want that element to have or do. In this case, we want the element to have text in it. Finally, we have to decide what text we want. Since this is the price text, we click the schema object and select price. Let's talk about the last item in the, uh, the list, item image. This is our image container for our ad images. The element attribute is set to source. This means that we're going to get the source of the element in the data schema object. Lastly, the data schema object is set to image URL. The non-code language of this would be, please set the source of our image block to the image URL of the product image. Okay, still some code speak in there, but not as bad as it was. Like I said, this is technically involved, and the more you play with it, the better you will get. There are some amazing tutorials online on how to use this program, and we will have an advanced level training on it in the near future. But for now, we just need to get a template to create the ad and upload it to our campaign. In the next video, we will be wrapping everything up by uploading this ad and talking about the next step in your Google Ads career. If this helped you at all, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more daily advertising, marketing, Shopify, and dropshipping training. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.